everybody welcome back to my youtube channel or if you're just joining us now welcome so for today's video the first time featuring in an official video you've been in vlogs but yep. you've not sat down so. hit the main channel <laughs> just hit it anyway guys so for today's video as a beautiful tell by the title we have a super duper exciting one we are going to be trying on the exact same outfit but on two completely different body types so i will tell you a little bit about our body types our preferences and fashion um and just a bit about ourselves and then i will show you the outfit so the way we've done this is i have picked outfits in my aesthetic for my video and i went to primark it's one of my favorite places i find it very size inclusive and very cheap so I really do love Primark and Katie went to ASOS for her video which we've already filmed mm -hmm. hence why we look like twins we don't dress the same it's not this little thing we have going on if you want to see that make sure you head over to Katie's channel there'll be a link in the description below so you can check out Katie's video where she styled it in her aesthetic um mm -hmm. I feel like in the last year me and Katie's fashion isn't too far apart i say like when we first met we were like worlds Complete apart yes yeah. but i feel like since katie's moved to london and since i've got a bit more into fashion we're a bit closer together with what we're like yeah but although kate the video we've done on katie's channel taught us both a lot um and i think it's, sure. i think it's very informative and i think you guys would like really enjoy it so make sure you check that out we'll talk a bit about like kind of what we generally wear our bodies and stuff like that just to give you an insight of kind of what we go for i mean if you a subscriber or me then you'll kind of know me style but for me i'm very like boob chesty um i'm a size j cup on the chest so for me when i'm shopping i'm always very aware of that i'm very aware of like my chest area i'm a uk size 18 um typically but i do get 20 in likes of jeans and tight fitting clothing just because a lot of the time i feel like that's what fits better fashion wise i'm quite I like to layer stuff a lot. Oh, well, actually, we'll, we'll do this. So, me and Katie described each other's fashion in three words earlier a day, just general yeah. conversation. And we'll tell you what they were, just to give you an insight of how we describe each other. But I'll let Katie briefly describe yourself first, and then we'll do that. So, I'm a size 10, um, and my main, like, hang-up about my body is the fact that I have IBS and I bloat a lot. So, for me, it's, like, really important that nothing's too like tight on the stomach because i can go from like a size like 10 to like a size 14 on the stomach in like 20 minutes if mm -hmm. i've ate the wrong food so like if something's really tight it's just uncomfortable and then it makes me feel really crap about myself because i'm you know already sick and then i've got to deal with my clothes not fitting so it's not ideal so anything like elastic and stretchy is great for me um it's it's been really hard adjusting to that because that's not the type of clothes that i like to wear i hate elastic stuff but i've just had to deal with it and do it for comfort but yeah. i love like my legs out like um quite like i'm not flat chested but i don't really have like big boobs so i can kind of get away with like low cut and no bra and stuff like that so for me like i think for us especially the style of clothes might be similar mm -hmm. but the actual cut of them and what they do to our body is completely different yeah i totally agree with that yeah mm -hmm. so what we said earlier um we each described each other's fashion in three words and for katie i said katie was um basic fashion now not basic in a like nasty way not like basics nasty but what i mean by that is she's very um i love me basic yeah she likes the basics and she wears and styles basic clothes in a lot of different ways and i think you can see that through her instagram and everything um i also said katie was very put together is that the word i used yeah put together which what i mean by that is when you look at her outfits they coordinate very well a lot of the time and they just tie in nicely i feel um with a lot of your outfits and the other thing that i said was smart like smart as in like oh no i didn't i said feminine yeah yeah she said girly to start with girly yeah but i don't think i'm particularly no. girly i think i'm feminine feminine that's what i mean and what i might mean by feminine is like um quite floral quite like dresses and like how would you describe what i'm trying to say i i like like you know like nice neckline cuts yeah. and like i like i love skirts mm -hmm. but then i tend to like grunge it up a little bit so i'll wear like a cute dress with a pair of doc martens yeah a lot of the time or like i'll always wear heel boots because i'm really short so you know the doc martens i have i've got like a big platform on yeah so i definitely think like i do have quite a feminine style yeah i love neutrals as well yeah you do mm -hmm. yeah 
yeah and then katie said about me animal print yeah we demi just wears a her. lot of animal print i do like cheetah leopard um like i think have you got zebra print items no i don't wear cheetah i wear leopard zebra and cow they're my three favorites <laughs> um and then yeah so i said animal print accessories accessories mm. demi like always accessory like she's always got a belt she always got a bag mm -hmm. rings earrings necklace like, that yeah. is what i would kind of always pick up yeah and then the third thing was you said like basically is he safe it was one of them safe yeah safe, safe. you do play it quite safe i, I think do. yeah like I feel especially like... with the layering i feel like yeah. layering can be a bit of a comfort blanket for you sometimes yeah you know what i think when you say safe i totally but think i am safe what i would say i'm safe with is once i find a style of item that i like i replicate that item in lots of different yeah. colors and ways so for example um last year or the year before i started wearing little cami dresses but um underlaying it with either a mesh top or a jump back high neck and since then i think i've had that item in 20 different patterns so it's not the same it's not the same um outfit but it's the same style so yeah. once i find a style that i think suits my my body i just tend to run with it i grab it and run and i get it in all different colors and you know like that dress i was wearing the other day for me so i love and i want that in lots of different patterns do you know what i mean yeah what's the matter sorry the a fly just flew into the ring light but the ring light is like really hot and i thought the fly was gonna die. <laughs> i did not say that i had massive empathy for that fly in that 30 seconds that <laughs> so your face was like <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just ruined your whole day. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, so yeah, that's um kind of how we described each other's style. But anyway, so I'm gonna show Katie the items that I picked, and she can give us her initial reaction. And then obviously we'll be trying them on, seeing how we're feeling our body. Now, bearing in mind, I haven't tried any of this on myself either. So um, we all know what primal calls can be like. We might get them, they might not fit, and stuff like that. But um, generally, these are kind of my style of items and stuff that I would tend to be drawn towards. I'm so nervous. Yeah, let's go. Item one. <laughs> Ooh, <gasps> this is gonna be awful on me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do, what do you reckon? Tight like, fitting. The body con, you guys will see. Like my stomach is just gonna stick out of that. And okay. I'm, like if I wore this and then ate food, I would get offered a seat on the tube because <laughs> the thing I'm <laughs> but no that's actually no joke happened to me before like my ibs gets so bad that someone i was at work once i used to work for um a, like, on a makeup counter and i went and had lunch and i had a burrito and i came back and i was like really hungry this day and i was like Do you know what fuck it i'm just gonna have the burrito then i came back and this old woman came up to us while i was at work never met her before in my life and started rubbing me stomach and going you're way too young to be pregnant and I was like, I'm not pregnant. I just had my lunch. <laughs> what did you say? Like, me workmates are just stood there like, what on earth just happened? Like, I was, it was so embarrassing. What did you, what did she say? She went, E, I'm so sorry. And I was like, well, maybe you shouldn't walk up to strangers and like touch them. I know, right, that is really bad. And no one should do that. But my nana did that to someone in a supermarket when I was with her. She went up and she went, E, God, when you do. And the woman was like, I'm not pregnant and I was just like why would you do that Nana why sometimes though like I do stupid shit and I'm like why'd I do that yeah I just get you just get impulses my Nana is stuff. very maternal so I feel like she just overly is like oh you're having yeah. a baby when's it due but I'm like Nana not she, you know like she was not having a baby that's so rude <laughs> Oh, that's so, that's so it awkward. Was, it was awful. I think I feel most awkward for you. you just yeah, like, I was just like, what would you do in that situation? I couldn't believe it. And she still does it though. She never learned a lesson. She still asks pregnant people, <laughs> then the Jew and everything. I'm like, Nana, stop. Mm. Anyway, so that is the type of, um, so it's a black dress. And then it's a cord dress, like knitted cord, which I cord. love. Cord? Well, well, like ribbed. a rib, sorry. Knitted ribbed. And then I love pattern. So... I got a men's pattern shirt, which is in a um, a very different pattern. I didn't shirt. expect you to go for that, but I really like it. Yeah, it's but I don't know if you'd wear it the way I would wear it. 
so I will show you when yeah when we no. style it I'll show you how I would style it on this yeah because we would we're not just wearing it open we tie it but I'll show you because Katie's not not I've never seen Katie do this so anyway yeah, without jeans yeah I would a white crop top underneath no potentially I would maybe but that's what it's good about this yeah. item. It's versatile. Yeah, it's very versatile. It's, it's an item that you, like you said on your video, you can wear this a lot of ways. Yeah. So it's a good one to have. Um, but yeah, so that's yours. I was meant to get you a medium, and I did pick a medium up there, but it's actually large, so it's going to be quite oversized on you. That'd be good though. Yeah, it'd be good, cause especially the way I want to style it, which with tying it, it'll be good. Okay. So personally, this is how I would style these two items together. I would have a good tie um, in the middle just to kind of cinch it in, add something extra to the dress. Um, this probably isn't exactly the type of dress that I'd wear. I feel like it's a little longer than I would usually wear. I like um, it though. Yeah, I don't hate it. I really like it. Um, but yeah, this is the first outfit on us both. What's your opinions? <laughs> Katie's just like, get me out of this. Right, I don't hate the dress okay i don't hate it i think it looks nice but looks nice but then it's like i know what you mean about your bloatness you do get conscious about that don't you yeah really conscious because like it's like one of those things where like, i can't actually do anything about it like i've tried every tablet like going on a really strict diet and it's just like it hurts it's painful i don't want to look at it and it really affects me mental health like mm -hmm. a lot so like for me to wear something like that really accentuates this area, I struggle and I feel like you'll know what I mean when I say that I look a little, a little bit pregnant, which is fine. Like I don't want people to watch this if they blow and think that they should feel shit about themselves because they shouldn't. It's just something that I'm working through. Yeah. But I, I like this more, like I would wear it like this. Mm -hmm. Like okay. I would wear this, mm -hmm. and like with like my Doc Martin sandals. Yeah, I would wear like high top Converse. Like, yeah, I love this shirt. Yeah, like, I actually love it. Love it. I like. I love the shirt. To be fair, but I would like tie it, crop it, just like this is how yeah, I would style could, it. You could even cut it. Yeah, if you wanted to. Yeah, I like the tie though. I often tie yeah. things. See how I would do it is I would like obviously like I said wear it with a pair of jeans, and I would like button it up and then like crop it and I tuck it under my bra so yeah. it's like cropped. Yeah. It's cute. Like it's not the it's not the worst outfit I've ever worn. No. So on our body types, we're gonna rate it out of ten. So for me personally, I'm gonna rate this a seven out of ten. I really like it, but it's just a little longer than I'm used to, and I feel like it accentuates the bottom of my legs slightly because I have chubby legs. So I feel like it kind of just accentuates them a bit. Um, I could like ruffle it up actually and make it a bit shorter, but then I have like a lot of extra materials. So it's just you know that's the only thing for me um but i love the style of it it's a very me styled outfit it with a few amendments yeah i personally think on you it's it's a, it's an eight yeah yeah i really like it and i think the issue with your legs that you think you have i don't i would never point i would never look at that and think mm, your legs look well i wouldn't think that anyway mm -hmm. but i don't think that is a big deal mm -hmm. and like, especially if you had like you know a, a pair of shoes that really complemented the outfit like let me look at it head on yeah i mean like it look cool especially if you had some like, big chunky earrings mm -hmm. like a nice like say a pink bag or a green bag that matched mm -hmm. yeah i think i really like it thank you mm -hmm. i like it on you do you yeah do you like it tied yeah mm. i'm gonna tie it again tie it again <laughs> for me on this like for my when it's tied i feel like a bit better because it kind of like can hide it a bit more so i think i probably would wear it like i don't mm -hmm. dislike it mm -hmm. um but i wouldn't pick it yeah but i would i would i would give this seven yeah yeah seven both agree on 6. that 6. 5, seven. yeah okay, yeah. okay so outfit number two this one okay first things first here you go that jeans okay. da, 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 da. oh you want the next item as well okay yeah this is fun i feel like i'm getting a present <laughs> oh there's another shirt is it t-shirt yeah <gasps> do you like that's so cute yeah so what i've went Stress for less life is good yeah so i went for a beige 
graphic tee. I love a good graphic vintage style, oversized t-shirt, very me, yeah. So that's what I went for. I love the colouring, I love the green and orange, the dark brown and then the beige. Um, this is, I just think this is gorgeous. Fun fact actually, I, we when we were shopping I seen this in the shop. Yeah. It was too high, I couldn't reach it. Ah! I just left it. It was I really wanted to do. buy it. So awesome. I, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I've got it in an XL. What size do I pick you up? Small. Small. Yeah. Like a 12, but, but it's big. Huge. Yeah. Mine is huge, but that's the way I would wear it. Like very off. Do you know what? This would also look really nice with cycling shorts. Yeah. Mm hmm. So this is this. And then for the jeans, I went for these, which are vintage mum jeans. They're high waisted. Um, they're made using sustainable cotton. Now, do you like Primark jeans? Because I feel like the mom, I, you love them, I hate them. I don't buy anything from Primark, apart from oh. homeware oh. and socks. Okay. Uh, not because I don't like it. Hmm? Actually, I don't like it. Like, I like this. I actually really like what you've picked up. But what I about just... that green dress? That's an exception. <laughs> she bought a green dress today. Come out with Primark with this massive smile like, oh, you're going to love it. Yeah, but in my defence, that's actually the first time I've bought clothes in Primark and possibly the last time before that I actually bought a clothing item from Primark was when I first moved to London mm -hmm. and I had to stay in a hotel for a week because my house wasn't ready and all of my clothes were packed in a van so I had to just like, it was the closest clothes shop to go and buy something. Mm -hmm. And But Primark in London is horrible. Mm. It's horrific. Like we went to do. Oh, like, it's not a nice experience. It's, I it's like New Town better. Not nice. Like no. I used to buy a lot more back at home, but it's just busy, especially mm. like when tourists are here. Like you just can't move, and mm -hmm. I just don't like it. Ta da! Outfit number two. I think we both look great in this. Yeah, I like it. I just yeah. think we both agree on the jeans. Yeah, they don't fit. Yeah, mine. I have thick cuffs, and mine are quite tight at the bottom. Um, I don't hate them, but they're just not the best fit I've had in a jean and I yeah. do prefer a wide leg but I couldn't find any in Primark but preferably a lot of the jeans I wear are more just wide leg and I have um the world's worst camel toe going on right now <laughs> so sorry to everyone watching this that you have to look at my vagina <laughs> I'll yeah, see, you are. You'll see more from me don't worry <laughs> yeah I was thinking that first like PG for your channel yeah this is very PG but if these were a size bigger, I, I would I would have like kept them. Yeah. Because I think they're really nice. Like for what I've tried from Primark jeans, I think they're definitely at the top end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Love the t-shirt. It's given me very like 90s skater stoner vibes. Yeah, I love it. I'm keeping the t-shirt. But also like dad in a camper van <laughs> vibes. Yeah, I really love it as well. Yeah, it's really I think, Woodstock. Yeah, very like boxy fitting, mm -hmm. something that I really vibe with. I think it's really cute and pretty. Yeah. Um, I, if, if I'm just going to show them, yeah, like this is it untucked. Yeah. And it's nice though, because it's like, if you ever get sick of it and you don't like the pattern anyway, just wear it bed. Yeah, could wear it as a night dress for bed, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very big, um, but I love it. I love the colours on it. Um, I just think it's overall like a very, very pretty like, Yeah, item. I think for me, I would even wear this as a t-shirt untucked with a pair of jeans and like a pair of Converse and just like for running to the shop. Yeah. It's got that like oversized like, you know when like supermodels wear like really like cool like baggy clothes and yeah. they, look, they look good. And like I said before, cycling shorts with this would look unreal. Yeah, I think it would look really nice, yeah. But yeah, I really like this outfit. Me too. Personally for me, I'm going to rate it. it. Yeah, I did. I'm going to rate it a... Um, nine. Ten. It, it loses a mark for the camel toe. Yeah. If I had a camel toe, I think I'd be rating it. Do I have yeah. I don't think I do, no. It's a, it's a nice, like, basic... Everyone should own a, a nice graphic tee and a good pair of jeans yeah you so. should and personally like if it was really cool and i wanted to wear this i would underlayer it with like a, a long sleeve um top and yeah the thing is so if you did wear like a long sleeve top underneath that and then like high top converse mm -hmm. it would act, or even like even if you wore right orange long sleeve t-shirt and high neck underneath yeah and then like a pair of like brown 
um, like platform boots, mm -hmm. that would look cute. Yeah, That's I don't wear boots, so I probably wouldn't wear the boots. But yeah, I would definitely underlayer it. Yeah, and we didn't do shoes for this outfit because yeah, no. But yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah, happy. So yeah, it's a pair of trousers. Okay, but it's got a paper bag waist, mm -hmm. a little pulley in bit so you could cinch the waist in, which is what personally I do. Now I really like the colour. It's in like a brown beigey colour. But they just they've got little pockets, they just come down quite wide leg, um, and they curl up at the bottom, which personally I don't know if I would wear them like that, I'd probably pull them down. Um Kate looks like she hates these. I actually hate them ah! so much. I think they're cute. Anyway, then ones I'm, are mine. I'm gonna feel like Steve Irwin. What's who's that? Steve Irwin. Yeah. You know the the the, the wildlife guy that died oh. by a stingray. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> oh here's your one. And Thanks. then your top or tops is a be a brown bodycon because that's I'm, cute yeah i really thought the beige and brown would go nice together yeah. so, i like the color story of this outfit mm -hmm. i'm excited to see how the paper bag pants look on me because i feel like i don't wear anything like no. that no i've never seen you in any what's your little no. reason for that they don't fit you no i don't like them you don't like them <laughs> oh i love them I, I'm, I, right i'm sorry i've got one word for this mm -hmm. Brownies. I look like I go with brownies. Okay, yeah, you do. But I, right, so for the pants, I'm not the biggest fan of the pants. Um, not sure what it is, they're just not really what I envision, but I, I still do like them. And I like the top, to be fair. Um, but yeah, it is like, here you go with brownies vibe. But I do like the colouring. Um, it's more of a me outfit than any of the ones in your haul. <laughs> This is what I mean. We have like different styles of things, right? Yeah. Like, see, I love brown. Most of my wardrobe is beige and brown. But yeah, I freaking hate this. I feel like Steve Irwin. Like I said, either Steve Irwin, Steve Irwin's daughter. She went to brownies. That's what I think she would wear. Okay. I just don't think these are very flattering on me because I'm short mm -hmm. and like. Yeah, here. I'm sorry, no, just that's fine. Like it. That's all right. Not offended. <laughs> yeah, I personally really like it. Something that I would wear. Not like me go to outfit, but I do like it. Very similar, very basic. I'd wear like I have this jacket, which is basically corn. It's like brownie. I would wear it over the top. Um, yeah, but where would you wear it to? Just like shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Just like everyday shopping. <laughs> just like everyday going for a shop. Yeah. 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 Just like everyday. Like with a pair of what shoes? Um probably me beige Ralph Lauren trainers maybe. Even like a cream cardigan thrown over the top. Yeah, but I, I feel like you need bright colour. Mm. Yeah. Like I feel like if you wore so I have this like orange over shirt mm -hmm. from Zara mm -hmm. and I think if I if I wore that I'll probably like it a bit more because I feel like it need, just needs a bit of colour. Yeah. This is too be beige even by my standards. Yeah. I like it personally. I think it's quite nice. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely it definitely suits you more than it suits me. 100%. I don't think it doesn't suit you or doesn't it doesn't look bad on you, it's just not your preference of like colours and style of items. Uh, yeah, I agree, but I also disagree. I think because I'm short mm -hmm. and I'm small and I look a lot, a lot younger than I am. Well, people say that. Um, I feel like it like makes us look even, even younger. Nine-year-old Katie in her brown uniform. <laughs> like, sorry, I just can't get over oh, it. Oh, bless you. Anyway, so this is outfit number three. This is what it looks like. Fix our body's nice though. Yeah, I think it does. Paper bag's very in right now. Yeah, it is. It's good for when you blow it too, by the way. I so. do like paper bag. Yeah. Okay, guys. So this was the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments below what was your favourite outfit. Which one do you think suited um, me the most? And which one did you think suited Katie the most? If any, because obviously this isn't really Katie's aesthetic at all. But thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you head over and watch Katie's video where she got us items in her aesthetic from ASOS. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please let us know by giving this one a thumbs up. And without further ado, chat chat. We'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye. <laughs>